Welcome to another video from explainingthefuture.com. This time I'm going to talk about medical 3D printing. Right now, the best things to 3D print are small, customised and expensive, which makes medicine a prime sector for 3D printing application. It's therefore not surprising that a recent Morgan Stanley Blue Paper found that nearly 40% of 3D printing patent applications are already in the medical sector. In 2009, Royal College of Art student Jorge Lope de Santos created several 3D printed works of art from paediatric 3D scans. Since that time, ultrasound, MRI and CT data has increasingly been used by doctors to make medical models that assist in the planning and practice of surgery. Here, for example, is a pelvic model by Cavendish Imaging that was laser centred in nylon from CT scan data. Over in Japan, a company called Facetech have developed a process called biotexture modelling. This uses material jetting to make 3D prints that simulate the wetness and texture of human organs. Models like this liver 3D printed by Maki Sugimoto actually feel organic to the touch and allow a surgeon to see scar tissue and cancers inside an organ. They can also be dissected to practice an operation before cutting into patient flesh. 3D printed medical models can also assist in the fabrication of custom prosthetics. Here, for example, is a 3D printed scan of patient Eric Moger who lost part of his face due to cancer. This printout was created by a dental surgeon called Andrew Daywood who used it to make a flexible mask that allows Eric to eat and drink in a normal fashion. An increasing number of people wear external prosthesis manufactured in whole or part by 3D printers. These include prosthetic legs with 3D printed fairings, as well as 3D printed foot shells and customised artificial limb components. Just one pioneer is artist turned prosthetics designer Thomas Most, who has found a cutting edge medical application for his digital sculpting skills. Other medical 3D printing innovators include Arkham and the Adler Ortho Group who since 2006 have been using electron beam melting to produce medical implants such as this ace tabular cup. This is the top part of an artificial hip that attaches to a patient's pelvis and is custom 3D printed in titanium. As you can see the cup has a unique porous surface structure that could not be fabricated using traditional manufacturing methods. This unique surface provides the best long-term fixation as the patient's bone actually grows into it. Other bones that have been repaired or replaced with customised metal 3D prints include this titanium jaw. Back in 2012 this was laser sintered for an elderly lady whose natural bone had been destroyed by an infection. Given that I held and photographed this replacement in October 2014 I do hope that what you see here is a duplicate. Entering the mainstream, 3D printing is rapidly facilitating digital dentistry. Strasicists, for example, have developed a range of 3D printers that can create wax ups using its wax deposition modelling technology, as well as orthodontic appliances, try ins, and surgical guides using its Polyjet material jetting process. The latter produces very high resolution smooth surface prints that can be colour matched to make highly realistic veneer models. Other dental 3D printing pioneers include 3D Systems and Envision Tech who make printers that assist in the production of aligners, drill guides, bridges, crowns and temporary teeth. The latter have in some instances already been worn by patients for several years. And in January 2016, Rick Jacobs, the CEO of a company called Vertex Dental, was reported to have been fitted with the first ever permanent 3D printed dental crown. Another medical sector being transformed by 3D printing is the manufacture of personalised hearing aid casings. Here you can see a batch of such casings 3D printed on Envision Tech hardware, each of which will perfectly fit inside the patient's ear. According to the Harvard Business Review, 
In the United States, it took less than 500 days for every single company that produces custom hearing aid shells to switch from traditional methods to 3D printing. All of the innovations I've discussed so far involve the 3D printout of inorganic models or prosthesis. However, in the future, bioprinting will facilitate the 3D printout of organic tissue. Here, bioink spheroids, each containing tens of thousands of living cells, will be 3D printed into layers of a protective material, and after printout will rearrange and fuse into functional tissue for human transplantation. The images you're currently looking at are my own fictional creation. But already, pioneers including Organovo have managed to bioprint sections of cardiac muscle, human arteries and nerve grafts. In November 2014, Organovo even started selling bioprinted human liver tissue as a commercial product for use in drug testing. In May 2015, it then signed an agreement with L'Oreal to develop bioprinted human skin. And then, in November 2015, Russian pioneers 3D bioprinting solutions even successfully transplanted into a mouse a functional 3D printed thyroid. It's now four years since I first created my future vision of a bioprinter and uploaded it to YouTube. Since that time, medical 3D printing has advanced significantly, with a market predicted to be worth nearly a billion dollars by 2019. All of us with an interest in 3D printing should therefore keep a close eye on the medical sector. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.